Welcome to this video. Today I have my brother Ahmed uh, who would like to, to learn programming. Uh, I spoke to him about the course and he seemed excited to learn uh, Python programming. So welcome Ahmed. I hope you will enjoy uh, this course. And especially this video we're doing today. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. I like your teaching. So what we will do today, we will focus on showing you how you write code uh, that convert an algorithm which you have been working with for some time now you understand what is algorithm and then you develop few algorithm using human language for example you looked at algorithm of uh, a wedding ceremony or looked at algorithm to draw a car or draw a computer or draw a house those algorithms we've been looking at, I'm sure many examples as well. We're going today to show you how to use Python programming uh, to create those uh, solutions. I hope you will enjoy it and you find it uh, practical and uh, beneficial to you. Ready, Ahmed? Yes, good. So let's recap before we get into the coding. Let's go back just to the concept. So we have looked at computational thinking and you now understand there are four components of computational thinking. The first one is breaking down uh, the complex problem that you're dealing with into smaller components. And then next level is looking at the data given to you, uh, which data is really related to the solution, what others are not really in the solution so they do not confuse you. So you focus on what's really important for your solution. And that is what they call it abstractions. Then you look at those smaller components you broke down. What are the similarities between those problems? Is there a way if you solve one of those components, you solve many others? And this is what they call uh, patterns recognition. And you look at those patterns that uh, keep repeating things keep repeated all the time so what their characteristics what uh, possible algorithms to solve them and then you write that algorithm in human language and today we're going to take uh, some examples of how to write code which is similar to uh, the algorithm but in computer language not in a human language similar to human language but the grammar is different and the syntax uh, is also different. I mean, the structure of the sentence is different. What tools are we going to use? So we don't want to complicate issues for you where you need to download so many codes and do um, installations and configurations and all those different things. So we decided to use cloud and cloud computing nowadays is everywhere. So we'll be using a system called rebel. IT. It is .it, not .com. Yeah? So you need to make sure it's .it. This solution is, is a system, uh, they call it um, interactive development environment. There are many other similar to, to Ripple, but we selected Ripple for uh, their class management and other components that they have, and also the uh, easy to use and configuration uh, that uh, not uh, very complicated so let's start now and go to the rebel uh, website and start coding so when you get into rebel.it uh, website you will get a screen that look like this one yeah so you need First thing you need to do, you need to sign up if you didn't sign up before. If you already signed up, you just go into login and you log in. So if you go into sign up, yeah, you will get uh, a win this, this form. So you fill your username, email address, and password. If you are a teacher, not a student, so you, you wanted to create classes, you allow others to register in classes, you give them assignment and things like that, then you can click on this one. So that means you are a teacher. You can also sign up using those different social media uh, uh, 
systems. You can go through Google Plus or you go through Google or you go through GitHub or you go through uh, Facebook. And you also can log in. For, for me, because I am already logged in, so I already registered, so I will go into log in. And it will ask me for my username and password. I'm using GitHub. You will get to know about GitHub maybe sometime later. But you don't need to know now. It's a social uh, or a community of programmers who develop code and share it with others and to work together. So when I get into GitHub, I want to create my ripple. So you see this uh, on the top, my ripple. So if you click on my ripple, you will get into a window that looks like this. So you need to start creating a ripple. A ripple is basically a program that you're going to, to write. And in my case, I will be writing uh, program so I will click on new rebel here I need to say Python the language we're using is Python but as you can see there are many languages supported by this system for so many different things with development testing and some classic software like uh, QS basic old of and the new software like Swift and uh, and others anyway uh, what we want to do in our case we need a python so you go here and say python you will get a three python codes this python python 3 and a python with turtle the one we need is python with turtle because turtle is a graphical tool or library that make it very easy to draw graphics and draw objects and draw different uh, visual uh, components which will make learning programming uh, more fun and i think you're looking for more fun of programming so if you click on this and you get into uh, my turtle now we are in the environment where we can write our code we run the code and we get two windows here one is we see the visual result and one we see if there are any errors or uh, output as a text yeah so let's start writing some code so in programming uh, programming has developed a lot and uh, there are so many what they call it libraries or packages which have been ready made by other programmers so you don't need to do the basic things again and again uh, these libraries can do those basic things for you like for example mathematical calculations uh, there are so many tools around that can do mathematical calculation of solving uh, uh, differential equations for your integral all those things there are for graphics there are for uh, other uh, statistics and uh, there are many libraries for dealing with database and data there are many libraries so why you write everything from scratch because this takes years to write those complicated libraries and a group of people from everywhere do that so one library we'll use called turtle which draws some graphics for us so if you say import import is the keyword that you use to connect to any external library that written by someone else okay so import turtle so the library we want to import called turtle Okay, so when we import it, what do we want to do with that one? We need to create an object of that turtle, so a representative of that library. So if you want anything from the library, we speak to that representative or object. So we'll say import turtle as T. Now T is representing turtle. If we ask T to do anything, it will go to turtle and do the things. So it will, can run functions, which we will talk about it later, can do so many things for us. So T is our um, um, representative who, who we'll talk to and they will, it will talk to turtle. So if we take T now and give it an instruction asking T to go 
forward by handle. So T dot for word okay handle. Okay, and then say run. What we will see, we will see a line came here with the length of hundred pixels. Screen divided into small square, they call it pixels. And as you know, the resolution, it depends on how many pixels that screen can, can support. Now this being drawn, if I wanted to go up a little bit, okay, change angle, and instead of the head facing this direction, face up, Turtle has, has a function called left, dot left. And there is also right. So 90. So I wanted to go up 90. So now it will move up. It will change direction up, but it's not moving up. Yeah, it's just change the direction. Now the next thing we can say T dot forward 100. So what we will get, we will get this one. Now you can imagine, you can com continue and do a square. So if you make it left a little bit, uh, 90 again, and then forward 100, and left 90, and forward 100, you will get a square. Uh, uh, how, Isn't how, it? Excuse me. How yes. I, yeah. OK. Um, Th there are a few errors coming. Uh, OK, I'll check your code. Let's four. see what uh, Ahmed has yes. done. Uh, Sim has, has an yes. issue. Uh, I'm just connecting to his. OK. Oh, here is it. I can see you. You have a problem. So Ahmed trying to run this, and what he's getting there is a, a problem in line four. So look at line four. I can see the problem here. Yeah. So he made a space here. See, Python is very sensitive about those spaces. If you make a space, means this line now belongs to the line up. And, and this way, it becomes uh, not correct. So you have to move back and make it on the same line. Okay. You, you will notice later with the for loop, with the if statement, with the functions, other things we'll discuss. When you move text or do in, ident, in the identification of text okay. by a few tabs, uh, the, the structure of that text will change and the algorithm will change. It's similar when you write a document. So if you have a heading one, and then you have under heading one, bullet, bullet, bullet one, and then after that, uh, uh, few bullets on the same line, then you have heading three, which under heading, uh, or heading two, sorry, under heading one, then you need to put your text right, yeah? So if the identification of your text is wrong, then the people will not understand, does this line belong to that heading or belong to the heading on the top? So they get confused and they code the same thing. Uh, other programming languages, they use uh, uh, curly bracket, they call it. In Python, there's no curly bracket. So the space is the way you organize your code. So if you do this, means this line is, uh, is part uh, of the upper line and it's not really part of it. They are all the same. They are all the same, so they have to be all on the same identification. That's one issue he has. If we look at it, uh, there is another error in line one. So what the mistake in line one? If you look at it again here, uh, if you read this one, always the comment is very good. So no module named turtle. So this turtle is doesn't uh, is not recognized by the by the code because it's the wrong spelling. Turtle is with lowercase t, not uppercase t. Again, Python is a case sensitive. Something with uppercase is different from something lowercase. Yes, understand now, Ahmed? So if you run it, uh, you you get uh, now it's running fine. You come here you'll find it's drawn, okay? Now, it's working fine. So your mistake, uh, Ahmed, first is uh, the T is lowercase, and then those lines are all on the same level. So don't push anything left or the right that can cause you a problem. There are other mistakes some students do sometimes, they just forget those brackets. 
so you put like this and if you do like this and run you will get an error now always good to read the error bad input for line 3 bad input means those brackets are missing so you go back here and fix those uh, brackets okay Okay. okay, we're done. I think Ahmed's Thank code you. now is working fine. Yeah, I can see. Let's go back to our code. So Work this is code. our code. We said we were drawing, and if we just copy and paste this part of the code and come, uh, sorry, this line here, two lines, just copy these two lines, they will give us another uh, line, and then one more. And one more will do for us another square. Because square is completed now. So we have a full square. Now assume we want to move from here and go to another point and draw another square. If we, we, if we use forward, it will draw a line. And we don't want it to draw. We want to take the pin up, like when you draw on a paper. You draw on a paper, then you want to move to another location. You take your bin up, you go to the other location. So Python has something similar or turtle. So we say 10 uh, pin up. This is taking the pin up. Then we need to go to another location. Go to. Go to. Go to where we want to go. These are the uh, dimensions. So this window or screen divided in into x and y the center is the in the middle this direction is minus this direction is plus as you would expect okay so we wanted to make the movement for example 200 uh, this direction and 100 up so let's see what will happen 200 and 100 up and then put the pin down t pin down so pin a pin up go to pin down and you run that you will see it will draw that square and then it will move somewhere else without drawing anything assume we want to draw another square there but before we draw the square let us change the color of of uh, our drawing so how we do that again you would expect T color and then between bracket and quotation because this is a text red so you see how it's done T dot color and then there's quotation this is name name of the text so uh, of, of the color so it is red okay so that's one and then if we just take this one which does the square and copy it down here Sorry, I didn't copy the, that one. So let me copy this, copy, and add it here. We will see now, it will draw the first square, then it will move somewhere else and draw the other red square. Now you understand how this is done. So you can go now and draw so many other objects you want. Now the left, there is right as well if you want for the angle. There is forward, there is back, backward as well, if you want. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, okay. So you have some issues. Excuse me. Just, um, I managed to draw the two squares, but they're coming one on, on top of the others, not similar to what, what you have. Yeah. It looks fine. Oh, yeah, you have an error. Oh, but it was okay, okay. I can see. Okay, so it's not producing the same thing I'm looking for, yeah? Uh, so basically, it's not moving to, to the location I wanted to do and draw here. And instead of that, it's just drawing it down. So this is a logical error. So let's look at, okay, uh, okay, I can see the first one, T dot pin up. There's a problem with it. There is open and close bracket here, you should have. So that uh, allows the function to work. And then the same thing for the down. This is fine. Um, yeah, still not doing go to. 
and looking at go to yeah i can see there's a problem here you use dot yeah you use dot it's not dot it's it's comma it's comma so if if you put comma it means this is x this is y okay you run it now it will be fine okay so, so your uh, mistake was one is you didn't have the brackets here you didn't have the, ri the right comma in between x and y the rest seems to be, to be okay thank you okay so now you have the idea of how to start drawing some objects so let's use that uh, and draw some other objects and later we will come to how to repeat uh, certain things for example here instead of writing those code again and again is there a way we can just repeat it do two lines and repeat these two lines four times or ten times or hundred times we'll come to that one later in in other uh, videos uh, Ahmed, you did well. I think um, I know you. You will start now working on uh, more challenging exercises and you will uh, make uh, uh, good progress. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Learning. Thank you, everyone. I hope you, you enjoyed it. And uh, I w I'm sure I will learn more and I'll show you next time. I will sit in his place and do the video for you. <laughs>